Hello, my name is Bill. I'm the pastor at Freedom's Lutheran Church in Gibsonville, North Carolina. Thank you very much for joining me today. It's February 6th. This is our sixth devotional time together. And I've chose for you from Exodus 20, chapter 20, verse 8. Remember the Sabbath to keep it holy. It is Sabbath day today, February 6th. And what does that mean? I think a lot of us have kind of forgotten Sabbath. We're doing the opposite of the commandment. We forget how important it is to take a day to rest our bodies and have our souls inspired. You know, inspiration means breathed into. And the Holy Spirit inspires us. The Holy Spirit breathes into our lives to give us life, to revive our souls, to help us feel refreshed. And God commanded us in this commandment to actually take a day to rest and to worship and to do those things which rejuvenate us. And sometimes we forget just how important that is. So I'm gonna commend that to you today. Take today and find rest in it. Or think of it another way. Another way I like to talk about Sabbath is to feast. It's certainly a, 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 something that we all like to do. If you're like me, we love to eat. And so we dine upon a number of things that feed us mind, body, soul, spirit, heart, and our very, very lives. So what do you do to feast? Well, let's see, we'll start with a feast of rest actually getting seven or eight really good hours of sleep in. That's a great way to start the Sabbath. We also feast on good food. Oh, what is the food that is comfort food? What is the food that inspires you? What is the food that tickles your taste buds and leaves you wanting more? Take that time on a Sabbath day to eat good food, whatever that is for you. Whatever really gets you excited about, le about living life to the fullest. So we eat on rest. We dine upon good food. Then we really begin to feed our souls, feed our spirits, be the inspired. We dine or feast upon good relationships. Who are those people, the important people in your life who inspire you, people who you want to know more about and share, do life with. So you spend time with your family. If you're married or you, know, or you have a boyfriend, girlfriend, you spend time with your significant other. You spend time with your kids if you have them. You spend time with your parents, grandparents, aunts and uncles, the extended family, whoever it is that inspires you, whoever it is that can that you allow to speak to your heart. You spend time with them and feast upon the conversation, feast upon what's going on in their lives as you share what's going on in yours. And probably the most important feast of all is to feast upon God, to feast with God's word, to feast with God in worship, to feast with God in the presence of other like-minded believers in the faith. Because God has this habit of sharing God's heart with you so that your heart might be inspired, your heart might be touched, your heart might be rejuvenated. And I don't know about you, but for me, in this day and time, with all the stresses and all the disruptions around, around us, mm, I need that. I need that moment of inspiration with God, that moment where God breathes into me and lets me know that I'm loved and that God will never leave my side. So folks, remember the Sabbath. Don't forget it. Instead, honor it. Honor it. Lift it up. Make it an important part of your life. Remember the Sabbath, that day of rest, that day of feasting, to keep it holy, set it apart as a special time when you allow God to rejuvenate you through good sleep, good food, and great relationships. Thank you folks for working with me through this little piece of scripture. I look forward to spending time in devotion with you tomorrow.